Hey everybody, welcome to another Wednesday night barbecue and talk show. That's right. I want to say hi to Scott and Craig from Behind the Garage Barbecue. We have White Chipmunk online. Yay! How are you, my friend? Cooking with Steven and Jacqueline. Hello, brother. How are you? Ah, I hope everybody's doing well. I've already got my White Russian going, but uh, we'll do the White Russian cam for the second person. Guys, I want to share a screen with you. This next guy is uh, he actually did uh, sponsor uh, the webcam for us. And what the heck's going on here? All right. He is the owner of Dude oh, Jelly. Remember okay. when I had Dude Jellies on not too long ago on the webcam? I dig these things. They're so comfortable. His name is Drew. This time, and I've never met him before, but I talk to him all the time via text. So let's bring him on. <laughs> What Let's the see. hell is going on? Oh, look at this. It's like matching Weather, sweaters. <laughs> oh, that's so tender. Yeah. <laughs> look at that hair. Oh, my yeah. gosh. Fucking, oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Dude, I want to show you what you sponsored not too long ago. Okay. All right. Did, do you have a white Russian handy? In my coffee mug. <laughs> All right. All right. Here we go. This is, oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. This is called, where is it, where is it, where is it, dang it, where is it? Oh, well, this is called the White Russian Cam. Sweet. <laughs> right here. And I am making a White Russian in Drew's honor. Nice. Thank you for showing up, Drew. Yeah, I'm thanks for having me. Later. Yeah. Is that like pumpkin spice? No, dude. It's what is, <laughs> or is that half and half? Half an hour. I like oh, okay. Hey, that's one of the questions uh, your, I was going to ask. Sound is breaking up. Is, I don't know if it's just me or are you guys experiencing that between the two of you as well? That's you. I'm I'm hearing Mike fine. <laughs> can, can you hear me all right, Mike? I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to okay. and then come back and we'll see if it fixes. Hey, brother. It. Now that is the white <laughs> Russian cam, and you remember you sponsored it though, not too long. Yeah, ago. yeah, I watched that night. Yeah, I appreciate that's it. That's cool. Let me get my thing up there. Monica will be back in just a moment. Drew, yeah. how are you? Good, man. Nice to meet you, fellow. Yeah, you too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we've talked a hundred times and uh, never met. Well, I'm guessing tonight there will be a lot of quotes flying around. Oh, you <laughs> once, know. Man. You once know we start. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you know it. You know it. You can't stop. Uh, uh, Kelly says pumpkin Russian. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Halloween Russian, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to do a Halloween Russian just for Drew tonight. There you go. All right. There we go. There we go. All right. Drew? Yes, sir. Are you ready for some questions? Yeah. Fire away. All right. Where are you from? I am from Nampa, Idaho. So I'm okay. right, right down the road. Good God. You went far in life. <laughs> <laughs> well, so I did. I left for a while. Uh, went to school in Seattle. And then came back. So my day job, my you know what I what I do when I'm not hawking dude jellies is uh, video production and advertising. So okay, right on. Yeah, All right. you got any animals? Uh, we have two dogs and a couple fish. Yeah. So we have Dash okay. is our black lab, and Piper is a dorgy. So she's a dachshund corgi mix. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So Rick, Rick says it's like watching a Just for Men hair dye commercial. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. I was going to no. say Bosley. Bosley. <laughs> yeah. This is all natural. There, you know, uh, hey, this is my uh, hair. If I want to yeah, mess this hair up, I'll mess this is, hair up. There's no coloring going on here. All right. I know you're into barbecue. We've talked yeah. about it many a time. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, what's your favorite thing to cue? Uh, so a buddy of mine gave me, he's a, he's got a, uh, catering business barbecue place. You've met him, Adam. He, Adam, uh, yeah, that's how we met. Yeah, so yeah. Yeah, exactly. Um, he hooked me up with a tomahawk steak and it was like a 60 day aged, you know, huge, thing. huge. Yeah. I barely fit on the grill. Friggin huge. Yeah. And that, you know, smoked at 225 for, Couple hours was awesome. <laughs> so yeah. Other than that, um, quite a while. I mean, I've had a smoker just a couple of years, but you know, just a regular 
char- charcoal and gas grill before that. Um, that. Yeah, my dad always grilled stuff, and so just kind of, you know, <laughs> kept with yeah. it. Yeah. Awesome. awesome. Uh, I think that's where we all started, right? Back when yeah. I was a kid, we all had Weber kettles. I think my grandma still has the Weber kettle from like 1970, <laughs> uh, and it's in great shape. But, uh, nice. Uh, Craig says, uh, "Looking like before and after eight white Russians." <laughs> <laughs> Who's the only, before and who's the after? <laughs> only eight? What the hell? Uh, yeah, I've been drinking since two. <laughs> <laughs> I go for the big size. I'm not into that small stuff. <laughs> What is uh before we get into your business? What is your earliest memory of barbecuing slash cooking? Um, probably like going back to like my dad. So he would he did ribs a lot, and so he would um, boil them for a little bit, you know, to kind of mm-hmm. get them tender. And then uh, bullseye barbecue sauce when it first came out, <laughs> got it, you know, from. Costco or wherever, yeah. and uh, you know, glaze those, stick them on the grill for however long, and like the, I think that's Weber, one of my Weber kettle and way you go. Yep. Right? Yep. yep, I think that's one of my earliest barbecue memories. I'm not 100 percent sure what this means, but 20 years and 40 white Russians. <laughs> <laughs> that's probably about right. <laughs> About 400, maybe. 400. <laughs> All right. Uh, what's your favorite meat to cook? Uh, steak. There's a, I don't know if you know or if you've ever heard of um, Hardcore Carnivore. Yes. So Jess Priles is her name. She was here in Boise last year at an outdoor show. And that's the first time I met her and, and had any of her stuff. But she's got her own rubs. She has this like charcoal based black rub that you put all over the, you know, the whole steak. And then you smoke that for, you know, a couple hours, hour and a half, whatever, um, and do a reverse sear on it. So, uh, you know, hour and a half, two hours on the smoker, 225, bring it in, put it in a cast iron with butter and just get each side crisp. Holy cow. My mom was like, I made it for her once. She's like, this is the best steak I've ever had. <laughs> Reverse sears a thing these days. That sounds awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I, whenever I do steak, I, I pretty much do it that way now. <laughs> okay. It's the go-to. I, you know, I to be honest with you, I've been cooking for a long time with my show and that. Never done a reverse sear, but it is on my list. So Yeah. I, I, think, I think it tastes great. I'm actually cooking with Vegemite this weekend. Oh, right on. <laughs> I don't know, man. Uh, <laughs> see how it goes. It's part of a collaboration with a guy, Patty Joe, cooking here. Uh, Darnell wants to know, what is dude jellies? Other than this, Drew, that was pretty much my next question. Let's These are dude about. jellies. <laughs> yeah. So if... Uh, if, it, you know, if you haven't caught on with the, the jelly sandals and the matching sweaters and goatees and long hair and <laughs> the dude up Dude-a-bye. here behind me over here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the movie, the big Lebowski, Jeff Bridges plays the dude and uh, he wears dude jelly. He, well, I call him dude jellies. He wears these jelly, jelly sandals. Jelly. There's these clear vinyl, you know, shoes, sandals. And uh, a buddy of mine came to me one day and was like, Hey, what do you think about, I found a place, you know, that I can get these. What do you think about building a little business, you know, an e-commerce business and selling them? I was like, sure, let's do it. <laughs> so uh, just kind of started with an idea and uh, it's just grown from there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And now you offer other products as well. I want to, uh, I'm going to share my screen again. Yeah. Yeah. Because I want to show some of the other things that you got that you have. I love your site. I honestly, <laughs> I, I comment Thanks, on man. It quite a lot actually. Or <laughs> oh, so, you know, he's got the pants, and I actually have the pants. I don't nice. have them on me right now, but uh, the bathrobe, I've got that too, and I almost <laughs> wore it tonight. Came close. The dew jellies, absolutely love those things. Yeah, I do not have the bowling shirt. I have the bowling shirt. Do you? Okay. Yeah. Have you heard the story behind the bowling shirt? 
the guy, so, so Sedina's or Saad. Saad or something like yep. that. Yep. And it's got a name on the front. Well, it's from 1965, roughly. And the guy watched the show and said, that's my old bowling shirt. I gave it away <laughs> to like the DI or the something. Thrift store, like yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've got the glasses and, of course, the sweater. Got the sweater. And, and then my favorite thing, and uh, Drew and I were going back and forth on this as well, is these stickers. Like bumper stickers, whatever. And I mm -hmm. think mine was, my, my suggestion was, uh, and a pair of that and a pair of testicles, I think. Yep. <laughs> but he, he's got uh, these are all quotes from the Big Lebowski. Yeah. So that's awesome. Uh, I, I've actually seen these around town, which cracks me up because I'm like, <laughs> I'm friends with that guy. I know what's going on, man. See that, and that's what's cool about it. It's like this little insider, you know, inside joke. A lot of if you haven't seen the movie, if you're not a fan, these won't mean anything to you. But um, you know, when you see a fellow dude driving down the street with uh you know johnson question mark <laughs> exactly <laughs> you know what it's from <laughs> my friend kelly who was in was my guest last week and she's in here on and off i think tonight she got me for christmas this thing and it sits above our bathroom and it has all these quotes from the big lebowski you know like <laughs> shut the f up donnie and that yeah. and, and well that's just like your opinion man all those yeah. crazy things Coleman says he's never seen the movie. You're missing out, dude. But you know, do it when you've had a few beers. Yeah. <laughs> so I got I got a story for you. So I took uh, several years ago. I, you ever go to the Egyptian theater? And yeah. They had they show the Big Lebowski. So I went yep. several years ago, and I, I was stood probably up there. The stage. You probably were, and you were probably up the stage with me. <laughs> and uh, so anyhow, my friend Kelly, who's in here tonight, she never seen it before, and she went with us, and. At about the intermission part, she turns to me and goes, what the F am I watching? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you have not had enough white Russians, girl. <laughs> that's. I think that's my favorite part of the movie is that you can watch it. I still watch it. I've probably seen it a hundred times. And you pick up on new stuff every time because it's so well written. And there's these quirky little one-liners that it's like, you know, you've heard it, but you kind of dismissed it. And then you pay closer attention the next time you're like, Oh, that's what that means. <laughs> yep. Exactly. Every time. And I've probably seen it a hundred times yeah. too. And it's just like every time and mm -hmm. it may, but not, may not even be a line. It may be something going on in the background that you're just like, Oh, that, okay. I get it. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's great. Uh, Chris from Eastern farms. Great movie. Yes. It is. <laughs> hell yeah. And, you know, and it took me forever to realize what the hell the do to bite means. I had to Google it. And that's how I end every one of my episodes. I was like, the dude abides this time with a McCove rib sandwich. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so, or, you know, like this coming week is with the cheesesteak sandwich, you know? So, yeah. yeah. The dude abides. Yes, he does. Yeah. Uh, so, um, what inspired you to start the company, Drew? Um, well, it's like a uh, buddy came to me and, you know, had the idea and, um, it's definitely a niche. That's the nice thing about it is that we haven't really had to market it much. You know, we built the website, have social media, have a handful of decent pictures, and that's about it. <laughs> I mean, I do stuff like this every once in a while, and I'll, um, you know, I'll put up new posts, social media posts and stuff. Um, but it kind of sells itself because people are, you know, they're looking for it, and um, they're not widely available. <laughs> so... Yeah. It definitely yeah. has a cult following. Mm -hmm. When it when it was in the movie theater, it was like a bomb. It tanked, yeah. Yeah, I remember took, when it came out, and it's like, I don't watch that. Yeah, it took four or five years before people were like, "Oh, wait, that that was a good movie." <laughs> you know. Uh, so once again, my friend Kelly, who's on here, her daughter is uh, six. And her daughter was about four months old, and and she and Jean, my wife, went out shopping, and so I'm watching her daughter, and I'm just flipping the channels. And this was, okay, so this is not quite six years ago. First time I ever seen the movie. And I thought, what the hell is Sammy Hagar doing in a movie? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm watching it going, this is what happens when you find a stranger in the Alps. In the Alps. I'm like, eh, that's the stupidest line I've ever heard. But no, no, that's not what he really said. That's the censored <laughs> TV version. <laughs> exactly. This is what happens when you find a stranger in the Alps. Yep. Like, what? 
<laughs> so and her daughter's like four months old going uh, i think i just uh, he's swinging back and forth it was great uh, it was great, it was great. so fun. um oh i lost my questions here <laughs> uh, how long have you been selling online um dude jellies has been three years okay yep what is your do you best sell selling? do you sell a lot of dude jellies so, uh we i mean a lot in terms of how many people are actually looking for them. I think it's I think it's yeah, quite a few. Um, so around Halloween is our peak time. People uh, wanting to dress like the dude. Chris, yep. uh, Chris from Eastman Farm says, "I want his rug. You should sell his rug." <laughs> I need, yeah, I need to find a place that makes them. <laughs> that would be cool. <laughs> yeah. Not on the rug, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the movie is all about just wanting to get a, a rug. That's yeah. all he wants. That's all the dude ever wanted. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> great. <clears throat> Donnie, you're out of your element. <laughs> uh, so many great lines from that movie, man. There are. Hmm. I have probably another 30 bumper stickers. I just haven't printed them up. But <laughs> all the different. Testicles, is that one of them? <laughs> yeah, it's on there. It's on the list. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Drew, what's your best selling item? The dude jellies. <laughs> I can see that. Yep. Yep. I wore I, so when I bought these this last summer, and I haven't used them for a bit, so they've, they've kind of warped a little bit. Not in a bad way. I'm just saying that they haven't been used. They kind of fall flat. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, I wore them all the time. I mean, you can see them in my old my old videos too. I'm either going barefoot or wearing those. Yeah. In my old videos. They're so comfortable. They really are. They are. So, any pl so I was going to ask you any plans on expanding your bumper sticker line, but you just said it. Yeah, it's in the it's in the works. So we we just got these uh, made up, so I was kind of testing the water, see how they sell, and you know if people have special requests, I can we can make more, <laughs> we can make new ones. You know, so I'm I'm actually remodeling the back, and I, so I'm going to go buy uh, one of each. And flats are so. What I'm doing is I'm putting a fence up behind me. Oh, okay. And I'm going to have Wilson from uh, Home Improvement. Yep. <laughs> pop up over the back. So That's funny. That'll be good. I'll get, I'll get some up there for you. That's right awesome. on. Uh, what? Uh, so, what are your plans for 2021? Expanding your business. Um. Well, we have a uh, a new item we're working on. Actually. Yes. Yeah, so kind of hard to see. Now. So how? Yeah, this is yeah. the world premiere of this new product. Um, how family friendly is your show? <laughs> it's not. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> All right. Well, you've been saying F. You haven't ever said the actual word, so I didn't know. Uh, oh, yes, he has. <laughs> okay. Earlier, before I got on? Yeah. The, the fucking. Well, I can't even remember what he would say. Uh, come on, give me a This is what happens when you fuck a stranger in the ass? Yeah, exactly. Man. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, same buddy that we're, you know, so there's, there's three of us that are part of dude jellies. Uh, we had this idea. I don't know. It's kind of hard to see. I got to get the angle right there. Can you see that? Okay. Uh, but, no, I can't see it there, dude. Me neither. You go by dude also. That's funny. Yeah. Uh, well, okay. Oh, is this a Jackie Treehorn? Yes. Yes. <laughs> so I want some sign we are, we are making coasters. Jackie Treehorn dick sketch coasters. That is funny. I love that part's one of my favorite parts of the movie where he's going like this. It's like Yeah, and he's like, uh, uh oh <laughs> what is this? <laughs> is it like a as dry a dry erase um coaster or is it gonna be like an actual like blank coaster and then they they actually sketch it so it, they're um they're lasered on here so these, these are ceramic Ooh. yeah okay. I got you. yep and then they're lasered on there they're permanent you can't scratch it off it won't come off so yeah we're working on that that's the prototype that's so cool dude yeah. I'm thinking about doing those myself. But they could so. use a dry erase. You just send a dry erase marker with them. Yeah. They can, like, <laughs> on it and then erase it. Sketch on their own. Yeah. <laughs> right. It'd be the dude marker. <laughs> there you go. All right. I'll tell you guys, but you know what time it is. Are you running low? 
Yeah, the dude jellies. Oh, geez. White Russian. <laughs> White Russian Do you the dude jellies here, guys? Come on. Oh, I, I have a. Uh, okay. I have a second camera over here too. You, you know, so you asked what kind of inspired my or why I wanted to start the business. I have a little Lebowski shrine <laughs> in my oh, office right there. I don't want to see it, dude. Yeah, so it's got the Funko Pops, some jellies, uh, a Sioux City sarsaparilla back there. Nice. There's an In and Out Burger hat, <laughs> and then you like, rug. yeah, yeah. I need a. That's what I need. To tie they're it all together. They're good. They're good burgers, Walter. Those are good burgers. <laughs> that's by the did In and you, Out. No, the did In and you, Out. Is... Did you hear uh, Idaho? Uh, in and Out confirmed yeah. that Idaho is going to get our own yeah. location. Yeah, I don't know if. Yeah, I don't know if it's going to be like East know, Idaho you know, or over here. Pocatello or something. Probably. Like yeah. Just be my luck because that's where my in laws live. So I'm like, oh, uh, well, at shit. least I got a reason to go visit them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. I'm going to reload the Russian over here, too. Good for you. <laughs> Monica's like, please don't run. Dude, so about uh, three or four weeks ago, I had oh, my laptop failed five minutes before we were going live. Oh, I, grab, I have three laptops, right? And this one yeah. that I'm on now is old, reliable. It's six years old. It just goes and goes and goes, right? Is Watch it a ThinkPad? <laughs> no, no. It's an HP, old beater. But it works yeah. great. My other one it doesn't work that well. It is a, I don't know, whatever. So I had to grab my work laptop because this one I couldn't find the power supply that I'm on now. And so in between that one crashing and this one going, I'm starting to drink white Russian. <laughs> and I bet I had seven or eight of them over the course. Is that the I day had... you texted me? Yes. And you're like, I'm like four <laughs> in, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I had a panic attack. I, yeah. I have not had a panic attack in years, if ever. And uh, wow. Yeah. Yep. Darnell says he's going to grab himself a white Russian, too. So Darnell is a retired uh, army. Uh, awesome. Soul. Yep. Thank you for your service, Darnell. He said when he was stationed in Korea, he used to drink tequila sunrises and white Russians. White Russians. <laughs> <laughs> Darnell's awesome. He's got a great uh, – I'm looking forward to him actually doing stuff. He's on Instagram. But hi, Mary. My cat. Um, <laughs> all right. Uh, so we know you're, you're expanding your line uh, somewhat for 2021. I dig that. And I yeah. do use that a lot. I dig it. I dig uh, it. Any, any advice for somebody starting an online business? Yeah. Um, you know, I think the biggest thing is to just like find something that you're passionate about because if, if you find, you know, if you're looking to, to just make money and you're trying to see, okay, what is everybody else doing? You know, what, what makes money? Um, you'll get burned out. You won't enjoy it. So, um, you know, find something that you're interested in and then don't get hung up on all the details. Like you just have to find a place to start. And then you can build on it and grow it. Uh, you know, step one is just get an idea and um, don't get too hung up on the details because, you know, Etsy is a great place to get started with, with some e-commerce. You don't have to build out your own website. You know, you have to, they have some rules. Um, this isn't NOM. <laughs> there are rules. <laughs> there are rules here. There are rules. Um but, you know, Etsy is a good place to start, social media, Facebook marketplace, that kind of stuff. And then eventually, you know, because if, if you don't have the, you know, if you're not web savvy or you don't know how to build a website, um, you don't necessarily have to yeah, because of right. like, yeah, Etsy and Facebook marketplace, places like that. Um, yeah, that would be my my advice is find something that you that you really enjoy and. Make a go at it. <laughs> I think it's a lot like YouTube in the fact that, you know, you, you, you hop on YouTube and you think, I started with four subscribers. I don't even know who yeah. the hell these four people were other than <laughs> myself, myself, my wife, and maybe my kid, right? There you and go. Now, now I'm almost at 1,300, but it's like that was a year and a half ago. And I thought, oh, man, I'm going to hop in there. I, you know, in six months, I'm going to have 1,000 subscribers and be monetized. Shit, I'm not monetized even yet. Yep. You know, I'm only 60% of the way there and it's just like a constant struggle, right? Yep. So uh, I would add to that if, if you think it's correct and the fact that it, 
it's a labor of love. You just kind of keep working it and working it and it builds up steam over time. Yeah. Or most yep, definitely. My, hey, do you yeah. have multiple, um, multiple, um, like revenue channels? So are you like posting, uh, your items in different areas or are you really stay uh, specific to like Etsy or, um, do you have a, just where are you selling your stuff? So we have, uh, jellies on amazon too which okay. that's a beast <laughs> it's, amazon yeah yeah. Amazon's yeah um that's why i was saying start somewhere and then expand and grow it you know we didn't do amazon until about a year ago and it, it just takes the same kind of thing you know they have their own rules and ways of doing things and it took it was a learning curve for sure um but yeah, it's our website and Amazon right now. I did a little bit on I eBay, think. but they charge a lot. I mean, Their commissions like and Poshmark, stuff. Are... Poshmark or um, like Depop is a really good place to do stuff like that too because oh, you yeah. guys have like your own niche, you know, and that's really where Depop, that's kind of their thing is niche um, fashion. Cool. I'll have to check it out. So yeah, this, is kind of, this is kind of a two-parter. Miss, my wife, Miss, as I call her, Mrs. Dude, <laughs> she says she might know a content and branding photographer. So with that said, what would be the perfect item you carry for the Big Lebowski fan for Christmas, in your opinion? What's a good item to, to carry, like, yeah. as, a, yeah. as a Christmas gift? Yeah. Hmm... I'm thinking that. Yeah, right? Oh, yeah. I, the sweater, they're on sale right now, I think. I know the new jellies are. The new jellies are for sure. Yeah. <laughs> we were at, um, oh, what's that really swanky place in McCall, the, the hotel? I love it. The Shore, Shore, Lodge. Shore Lodge. Yeah. So that's, we had, we were attending a uh, photographer. My wife's a, a professional photographer. Oh, cool. And we were attending, yeah, that's why I said, blah, blah, blah. And, uh, we were attending a class there and they put us up there for the night, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm sitting there at the bar. She's doing her thing. I'm sitting at the bar, I'm about half trash drinking white Russian. And a dude walks in with this exact same sweater. <laughs> and I looked at him and went, Ah, oh, fucking A, man. What's going on? <laughs> and he literally turned around and said, uh, uh, You're out of your element, Donnie. I'm not kidding. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, yeah, it was great. I mean, you, you see them out there. You really, you, you do from time to time. It's kind of funny. Yeah. I took the, the same niece I was talking about when I, I saw it, Kelly's daughter, to uh, the Eagle Christian Church for, or not, not that I go there, but for Halloween last year. And I'm wearing this, and some dude walks up and goes, Yeah, oh, fucking A, dude. How's it going? <laughs> I mean, we're at a church, man. <laughs> uh, what was that? Uh, I was at a Steelheads hockey game and saw a guy wearing the sweater. And I don't remember what I – I think I said something like, the dude abides. And he just kind of turned around and he's like, yeah. <laughs> okay, man. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Uh, that's it's like a code of – like a, the secret code. Exactly. You see, yeah. yeah. And I saw the guy later and I went, you uh, obviously love the Big Lebowski. He goes, well, who doesn't? <laughs> Just those who haven't seen it. Yep. <laughs> Communists. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Nihilists. Nihilists. The damn Nihilists. They believe in nothing. <laughs> say, what, say what you want about Nazism. At least it's an ethos. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I have no idea what that line means, man. <laughs> but it is I, a movie. I have had to look up some of the lines. I have too. Yeah, I like the yeah. new I, I have no idea. It's a biblical verse, basically. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah, and I'm like, okay. It's I have a buddy of mine. He's got a sticker. I can't, I don't think I have it in here, but it's just, it's like a silhouette. You've probably seen it. It's red and black, and it's just a silhouette of the dude's kind of his face and his sunglasses. And it says abide underneath it. And he had it on oh. the back of his, of his pickup. And he was, he, he was doing some pruning for a lady or something. And she commented on something about how, um, she was uh, something about church and Jesus and something. And she's referencing his sticker. And he was like, okay, <laughs> whatever. Yeah, it's so far from that, but whatever. 
<laughs> so, right, so, Bless him. Chris yeah. from Eastwind Farms wants to know if they come in long, long sizes. Yeah, they do. <laughs> I'm a big boy. So I probably play Walter if, if the three of us are, we're gonna stop, <laughs> I'd be Walter and Market Zero. <laughs> I felt so bad for Smokey when I watched that. But, yeah. Oh my god. He's like, hey dude, this is your partner. <laughs> you guys, all right. So you guys out there know that if you've seen the movie, you know we're gonna quote the shit out of it, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it's the best movie out there. Bunny. It's the pride I, of my life. <laughs> I have some here if you want to hear some. Yeah. yeah. Boy, yeah. Uh, the dude lies, man. <laughs> hey, careful, man. There's a beverage here. Best uh, line of the whole movie right yeah. there. Man. Hey, at least I'm housebroken. <laughs> what else we got? This aggression will not stand, man. <laughs> Somebody more. used that on me yesterday. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Somebody called me Lebowski. You got the wrong guy. I'm the dude. <laughs> Every once in a while on my shows, I'll go, hey, everybody, El Dudorino here. And for the longest time, nobody ever picked up on it. But after, after I did my COVID thing, people started picking up on it. I was oh, yeah. Because I watched my second. So I did three back-to-back -back COVID episodes, right? My second one was I'm holding a six pack of beer and I'm in my everything Lebowski, right? Mm -hmm. and I, but and I'm not in this, but I'm in my bathrobe and I walk up and I hear Donnie, dude, you know, Donnie from above, tell me, yeah. you know, tell people blah blah blah. And I get one person commenting, you know, I think it's really sloppy that you're in a bathrobe in your pajamas. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Obviously, you're not a golfer. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Grilling and chilling with Coleman. I have no idea what you're talking about. Pretty close. Uh, yeah. That's about how the movie is half the time. You're kind of like scratching your head going, what? The first time you watch it. Yeah. <laughs> what did I just watch? Exactly. That was Kelly. She's like, what the fuck am I watching? <laughs> what the fuck did I just see? Yeah. I went, you know, the best way to watch this movie is either drunk off your ass or stoned. Then you'll get it. Yep. I've been both. Oh, <laughs> when I was over in Oregon. <laughs> yeah. Just across the border. Yeah. Yeah. That's only 40 miles from here. Yeah. Uh, uh, chilling and Girl with Coleman. I will have to watch it. Yes, you will, my friend. And you'll need to report back. So, hey, Drew, what's your favorite drink? Uh, right now, it's White Russians. <laughs> <laughs> Chris from Eastland Farms wants to know what your favorite gun is. Uh, I so right he's, now he's I, a red I, rider. I oh yeah, a red rider BB gun. <laughs> uh, I do duck hunt and goose hunt, so I have a, a Winchester SX4 shotgun. Okay, like twelve that I use. Yep. Okay. Yep. Nice. All right. I've got several, but I, 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 you know, I got a muzzle loader and 1911 and odds and ends, but I haven't shot in years. And my son, my son's a big is a gun fanatic and he's been through all the training. That was the first thing was like, you got to go through the training before you even touch these things. Yep, for sure. And he, he gets it. So he takes the yeah, muzzle there. loader out every once in a while, and odds and ends, but I haven't fired that stuff in years. Ah. <sighs> Are you a, a heavy cream or half and half kind of guy for your white Russian? Half and half. Yeah. <laughs> so mine's from the Star Merc. Oh, there you go. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, how often do you quote the Big Lebowski in a day? Do you think, Drew? As often as I can. <laughs> like, I mean, like if somebody. Says, you know, hey, thanks for doing that. I say, no problemo. <laughs> I mean, I, like, I constantly, like, everything I hear, I can probably relate to some quote from the movie. Uh, you know, nice marmot. What are you, a fucking park ranger now? I mean, I just. Yeah. Um, there's actually, I was reading about it not too long ago in preparation for this. And there is. Uh, a whole, uh, not really society, but there are people out there in job interviews who will slip something in, like uh, talking about a rug. 
or, or you know, or just some oddball thing that is directly tied into the movie. Yeah. Job interviewee. Yeah, I found that kind of fascinating, right? Can you imagine sitting in an interview and somebody goes, oh, that rug. what do you think about that rug? I mean, the first thing I'm going to say is it really ties the room together, but, yeah, you know. And if you answer right, then you're hired. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, Brian yeah, you got the reference. Brian Warnock wants to know, if, can you wear socks with your dude's jellies? You can wear whatever the hell you want, dude. You can do whatever you want. I, I mean, Fucking I, I wouldn't. <laughs> Brian's the kind of guy you probably would. Yeah, <laughs> he's always a nihilist. Yeah. Sister, you couldn't see the sweat, the sweat steam. steam up exactly. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that's got to be the toughest job in the world, being a nihilist. It's hard to believe in nothing. Exactly. It, it does. Nine total women. <laughs> it's got to be exhausting. <laughs> <clears throat> What's your favorite line from the movie? Um... One that I say often, like if I, uh, I don't know, if something doesn't go my way or whatever, I always say, fucking damn it, Walter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always like, yeah, fucking A, man. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Coleman wants to know, do Crocs count? Mm, no, you are jellies, dude. Come on. Yeah. They're kind of like a close second, I guess. Uh, yeah, I am. If you have to. <laughs> if you have to. In a pinch. I'm answering the question now. Luke Wilson. Oh! So one of the questions that we do have, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna jump ahead. Okay. And then we're gonna digress. Is uh you know they're gonna make a movie about your life. Who plays you in that part? About my life? Yeah. Mike. Uh, Me? No. It's not <laughs> a gray, dark <laughs> goatee. Come on. Yeah. Hey, he's 53, a hurdle, maybe 40 if he's lucky. <laughs> not quite. Almost. Okay. I say, <laughs> if he's lucky. <laughs> it could be like the Benjamin Button dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there you go. He's real he's younger. <laughs> right. I don't know. I've actually never really thought about that. Chris uh, has Luke Wilson. Luke Wilson. Yeah, I, uh, I'd be okay with that. Better than Owen. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. <laughs> you have to fuck up your nose, man. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, it'd be fun to say Jeff Bridges. <laughs> I've already reserved him, though. Yeah. Okay. Fine. <laughs> I'll have to come up with another. There you go. All right, here's a question for you, and I think you already answered this earlier, but we're going to ask again. What's your? Uh, how many times have you seen The Big Lebowski? Yeah, I, I honestly lost track. My friends saw it. So I was in high school when it came out. I think it was 90, was it 98? 98 or 9, somewhere. Now. Yeah. Um, and, I mean, I've been watching it ever since then. So, uh, you know, every time somebody comes over, every time it's like – what do you want to do? I was watch Big Lebowski. Exactly. Uh, I've shown my kids; they've seen it twice. They're fifteen and twelve. Uh, I, I figured they were old enough by now. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't. I've lost track too many yeah, times. Been, yeah. Not enough times. Yeah. How, and that's one of those loaded questions. Like, you mean this month, or the last yeah. month, or quarter? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that's funny. Uh, all right, I gotta ask you because we ask every guest the question right there: Are you team cilantro or not? In what? Right. Anything? You like cilantro? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I do. You gotta be me. Oh, no, I do. yeah, I do. Okay, watch this, guys. Bum, bum. <laughs> we are bum, tied. Bum. Tied. I like this guy already. Yep. Nice. So it's six six. Is that where oh, you're last up? week. What? Are we tied up? Are yeah, we, we are. We are. <sighs> so last week, both of my guests were negative. Pieces. Said no. Like, no, I don't like that. Even Kelly, who I know very, very well, is like, <laughs> I was like, you got to be kidding me. No way. <laughs> yeah, my husband likes it, but I don't. But I, I've been over yeah. your house a thousand times, and you, you cook with it. Yeah. Well. I don't like it. 
Oh man, my my that dad says awesome. he thinks it tastes like dish soap. Oh well, I, I don't know. I don't get that. <laughs> <laughs> if you ever make it over here to Nampa, or if you've ever have you been to Jalapenos? Yep. The restaurant, yeah. Their salsa, they use cilantro. It's awesome. It's like the best salsa. It's one of my favorite. We go to El Mariachi Loco here. Yeah, I know the owner real well. Matter of fact, Monica and I, you should come too. Monica and I are okay. doing a live from El Mariachi Loco on Cinco de Mayo. Oh, cool. Yeah, and we're going to do the, the live there. It's on a Wednesday, and you're more than welcome to the show. I'll, I'll send you a text. But uh, they use cilantro in theirs as well. So Right on. Uh, somebody, uh, Darnell, can I survive a brisket cook and jellies? Uh, where'd it go? Yeah, you can. <laughs> Uh, even, I don't care if you're using a stick burner or not. You can use dude jellies for anything, dude. Anything. I've cooked, yeah, I've cooked in them a hundred times, man. I Do you know what them. they work really well for is river shoes? Yes. No. I, yeah. yeah. Go down, yep. to, the, down to the Star yes. River. They, you ever been? Got, like, good no, they're not slippery. So if you look at the bottom, they have little pegs on the bottom. Correct. Well, they actually cool. have traction. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. They're not bad. Drew, you ever been down to the, to, uh, the Boise River and Star? You know, I have tire swing in there. Yeah, yep. I've, I've taken yep. our dog down there. I did this last summer and, and was wearing those. They're perfect for it, man. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> well, you, Better, then you gotta get some, if you get sand in it, and then you get that rubber shoe. Put them in the water. Yeah. yeah. Get, get sand in your tennis shoes too. <laughs> it's easy to walk them up. In your jelly. Yeah. If you got sand in your jelly, just put them in the water, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> They're dishwasher <laughs> safe too. Are they? I, <laughs> I, okay. No, I love them, man. When I first got them, I said size 12. I'm like, oh, shit. I usually know wear, wear a 13. But uh, no, they're, they're great. They're, they're spot on, dude. So, right on. Yep. Yep. Chris says he has to yellow toenails and can't use the clear shoes. They have <laughs> medication for that, Chris. Yeah. <laughs> Try it one of these days. Or clip your toenails. I don't know. Maybe take a bath. Fuck me. Uh, <laughs> we can find you on social media, right? You were. What's your What's your social media handles? Dude well, Jellies. Dude Jellies dot com down there at the bottom. Yep. And Instagram's at Dude Jellies, and um, we're on Facebook. Do I have Twitter? I, I don't have enough time to manage all of them. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm on Twitter also. And I'm like, what a waste of time. I maybe get one view per. Five posts. Five posts, yeah. Like, yeah. Screw that. So. Yeah. No, Instagram and Facebook. Rhea Allen says, paint your toenails. <laughs> <laughs> my niece painted my toenails a couple of years ago. And right she, was, she was three at the time, and she thought that was just the best thing in the world. And it took about <laughs> six months for that crap to come off. <laughs> That's funny. Gonna... She goes, Uncle Mike. I'm going to paint your toenails next time I see you. And she's been saying that for two years now. <laughs> I can't believe that she's already, did you say she's already six? I can't believe It should be that. six That's in crazy. like two weeks. Like, holy crap. Where's time? That happened fast. Oh, man. Geez. I know. Yeah. We're getting old. Fast. Well, Drew, just, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, I just, I just sent you a text if you want to look at the picture that uh, the guy who asked about wearing socks oh. <laughs> with his jellies. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. There we yeah, go. I said he's he's the guy that would. <laughs> yeah, ain't nothing wrong with that. that those look good. <laughs> 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 nothing wrong with that. <laughs> That's funny. Well, yeah. Drew, do you have anything else to say? I I have really enjoyed this. It's been a lot of fun. It has been fun. I appreciate it. Um, I watched your McCovrib. <laughs> video uh was it yesterday i watched it yeah i'm gonna have to try that was it good oh god it was great it looked good come over and i'll make it for you dude. all right sounds good yeah. i had a i had a mcdonald's one the other day just because you know they're back and everybody gotta try it out yeah it wasn't it wasn't good well, no, that, <laughs> that video no. actually like today you something is and up. you get older and it's like uh I yeah it was good when i was a kid a lot better yeah yeah <laughs> not good now the problem is, I I find, and uh, is so, uh, this is my theory, Mary. Oh damn cat, it's trying to. <laughs> this is my theory. If you have to put steak sauce on a steak, it's a bad steak. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. Same with barbecue sauce. If I've got to slather that thing up, that piece of meat up, that's a bad piece of meat. And if you go have the McRib, I'm not, don't get me wrong, I like barbecue sauce. But if you you go to a McDonald's and they give you that little tiny thing with a piece of processed crap yep. slathered in barbecue sauce that's just full of sugar and shit, mm-hmm. it's garbage, right? So on mine, I just put some onions, pickles, and I bought the Zapoltis. Is that the name of it? It's a local. You get it, yeah. Albert. Yeah, I say Zeppoli. Zeppoli. Okay. Uh, yeah. yeah. Whatever. Whatever. But it's yeah. you can't argue with the fact that the bread the bread type is called booty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> booty bread. <laughs> booty bread. <laughs> and it just, I just put that. They were fall on, fall off the bone ribs, and some onions and some pickles, and just a little bit of barbecue sauce on. It, and that's how I had it. It's flipping amazing. Mm. Come over one of these days, dude. No man. Yeah, it sounds was awesome. absolutely amazing. What we'll dude. do is we'll sit around when it's warm. We'll sit around and bullshit around the uh, the fire pit and the the grill. Nice. And uh, we'll we'll cook up a couple because it's it's the bomb, man. Did you put? Was that mustard? I put a mustard put, as a binder. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then Uncle Steve's Uncle Steve's uh, shake. Uncle Steve is the uh, he's not a sponsor or anything, but it's a brand that I believe in. Cool. And he was my guest last week, and he sends me a lot of product. I'm not going to say what my price is on it, <laughs> uh, but he says send me a lot of product because, and, and he's also invited me to go to the show in Houston, a barbecue show in uh, end of February. Awesome. And they're all expense paid except for the flight and the hotel. Everything else is, is part of the package. Cool. That'll be so, fun. Yeah, I'm going to do that. But I put that on there. I cook it for an hour and a half with some applesauce or apple cider vinegar slash water mix 50-50. Mm-hmm. Wrap it up and do the same thing for another hour and a half and boom, it's done. Yeah. At, at 225. It looked awesome. Yeah. And the thing is, for me, the catch is you got the bread that's absolutely amazing and little barbecue sauce because I, I just... Go back to what I said. You got to put barbecue sauce or steak sauce on your steak. It sucks. Yep. I agree. What kind, of, what kind of meat did you use? I used uh, baby back ribs. And they oh. were literally fall off the bone. And that's Those another babies, thing, too, is a lot of people aren't into good. that. Yeah. Actually, Uncle Steve works wonders on my toes. Yeah, I bet it does, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, scrub it in there, and it'll get rid of that yellow. <laughs> yellow. <laughs> <laughs> or add to it. Uh, no, that's the whole thing. So, it, to me, that's the whole thing. So. Well, Drew, this is the part that we open. I call it open bar seating. We open it up to anybody and everybody who wants to come on. You know, Monica, as well as I do, that Chris is going to come on. And this guy, I love to bullshit with. Because <laughs> he is the ultimate bullshit artist. 